Good evening and welcome to Greater Somerville for March 12th, 2013. I'm Kyan Anderson. I'm Joe Lynch. Tonight's topic, SCAT TV, its 30-year anniversary, and the impacts it has had on our community for over three decades. Our guest tonight, Erica Jones, is SCAT TV's Programming and Outreach Coordinator, and she is here to tell us about what she's been up to in the world of social media, as well as how she's helping move this organization forward as it prepares for its anniversary celebration later this month. A new high-tech website, an upgraded studio, as well as the ability to officially stream all of its programs live, I'm happy to report that SCAT TV is here to stay. And we will find out tonight all of the exciting details. So please join me in welcoming for her debut appearance here on Greater Somerville, Erica Jones to the show. Woo! I know. Erica. Welcome to the show. Good evening. <laughs> big audience. Yeah. There is a big audience. We should have. You should have seen them. They're all the there. Studio. Yeah. That's, that's one of the things that Erica is going to take care of us for he, right here at Greatest Summer yeah. World. We're going to have the canned applause. Indeed. Right? Indeed. Oh, when I, you yeah. say something Joe will great. need those. Uh, I usually have an audience. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Erica, you. welcome to Thank Greatest Summer Thank you for Summer having Bill. me. Thank you for having You're me. You're a fixture here at the studio, so both Kyanna and I know you, yeah. so. Yeah, this but you're your... always behind the camera. You never in That's front right. of the camera. That's so true. This is our first time to make you shine. Thank you. It's your important. introduction to Somerville. It is. There you go. Yeah. Although you've been here for a little bit, we're going to get into I your have. background. I have for four months now. You've been here for four months. Mm -hmm. But you were originally from. I'm originally from upstate New York, outside yeah. of Albany, mm -hmm. and I did um, my undergraduate work at a state university in New York in Oneonta. Mm -hmm. And uh, there I, I kind of got my, my feet wet and introduction to the media world, both, both the production side mm -hmm. and uh, kind of the critical studies side of it. So mm -hmm. I, I grew my passion for that at that point. And then I did live in Boston for, for two years um, where I received my master's degree at Suffolk University. Yeah, I read that. Very impressive. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of back back on the East Coast. You're back, but you did spend some time in New Mexico, I did. which I think is fascinating. Yes. Uh, quote, unquote, incorporated community <clears throat> media center yes. from 2009 to 2012. Indeed. How was New Mexico? It was a uh, culture hot. shock. Hot. <laughs> yeah. Hot. It was hot. It's pretty down there. But 310 days of sunshine a year. Yeah. So, as you can see outside right now, oh, um, thank you. Well, yeah, well, we want to <laughs> thank our guest Erica for coming in tonight and rubbing it in that New Mexico has 310 days worth of sunshine. No, but I, I was talking saying, about the weather. Now, That's why I say there was a good tee up because well, now you're going to be punished. I yeah. was, I was sensing that there was a, a, a good transition happening. Yeah, as is tradition here, when we want to punish a guest, we make them <laughs> give us the weather report. So on March. What's today's 12th, date? 12th, Joe. To March 12th. Today's Turn. my mom's birthday. Oh, shout out. Shout Happy out. Happy birthday, Mom. Even there though you, you can't see me. But you will be able girl, to. But you will be able to live yeah. on our new website. Yeah, and expect good. that gift in the mail soon. Turn <laughs> yeah. around give us the weather report for We're March 12th. Well, presently it is um, gloomy, slightly windy, probably about 48 degrees because it was humid earlier. Mm -hmm. And um, But no snow. But no snow. That's important. There you go. But no snow. Although I would prefer the snow versus rain. But so let's talk a little bit about how you got to SCAT. What was it about, you know, Somerville? Did you, you know, have your eye on Somerville, or was this just you ended up in this part because happenstance? Um, I guess kind of a combination of things. Mm -hmm. So I, I worked in the community media television um, field when I was in Albuquerque. Uh, for three years, I started off as an AmeriCorps volunteer, and then I was hired on full time the last year. And once I, I guess, was I, I retired my my stay there, and I moved back east. Um, I was on a job hunt, and I was unemployed for a couple months. And I was certain that I wanted to get back into um, the community media world, just more grassroots felt work, and. It's very difficult to find meaningful work sometimes. If, mm -hmm. if you if you have patience and um, enough time dedicated, you can come across something awesome, and which I did here in Somerville. Um, and the job was absolutely aligned with what I have interest in, and uh, I applied, and here I am today, four months later. I so. might have missed it. Did you move from New Mexico to Boston specifically for this job, or were you here already? Um, so I moved back to upstate New York temporarily okay. while I was regaining my composure and trying to figure out where I was um, going to be heading to next. So Somerville, 
Um, that was, means you moved back in with the parents. I That's may it. have. I <laughs> may not have. necessary. You should know. Don't listen to it. I just edit through this wait stuff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No disrespect. Uh, uh, you were living with your parents for, uh, I absolutely for quite some was. Yeah. I absolutely was. And they welcomed There's me There's no shame. My mom was, I, I did. I did <laughs> for two months. And my mom was ecstatic. And I was more just like, OK, I need to really find a job. That's right. But that's um, motivation. That's right. It, it was motivation. motivation. Yeah. It was motivation. And I learned a lot. I, I knew about Somerville when I lived in Boston before. And yeah. I had some friends who lived here. And it was kind of like a growing, evolving, like cultural mecca. And um, I knew that had, like having lived in Albuquerque, I, I I was kind of um, not really, I didn't want to move into Boston because I, I don't know, it's, it's overwhelming for me or mm -hmm. something right now. And this is like a really cool arts niche and it's very community focused, which means a lot to me. So that is kind of why everything So what better place out. to land than a community access television yes. station? Yes. So yeah. what, what are some of your plans? I, I know that you were obviously hired to make SCAT TV more visible in the you know social media world. Like what, what do you have on the horizons that you're going to be doing differently than what was done at SCAP before? Sure. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm constantly just kind of gauging where we can, you know, make improvements or, or um, develop things better. Um, but I think just trying to engage the community more so in, in a, in a nonlinear direction. So with things like social media, I mean, you're inviting people to mm -hmm. Um, join the dialogue and participate and it becomes more participatory you know um, conversation versus mm -hmm. just I mean sometimes with like newsletters and stuff and that type of form it's a great form of communication and, and social media shouldn't replace any of that I think no. it's just a nice asset um, for instantaneous updates um, for sharing also other things that are going on in the community so you're building and fostering those relationships with yeah. other organizations the government I mean you're just trying to trying to join the larger well larger it's also it's also about marketing yes scat tv mm -hmm. as a great resource for the community yes in whichever distribution channel you can do right whether it's through our own method of communicating right which is television mm -hmm. or boston free radio right you're now taking that and ratcheting it up to all of the social media network sites mm -hmm. Well, social exactly. media is great because it's very interactive. Whereas, yeah. I mean, you know, newsletters are great, but there's just more of a interactive. You know, you can definitely get people's feedback a lot quicker. Yeah, and you have your finger on the pulse a little bit mm -hmm. more, um, and it's and you have the you know the statistics that come out from people responding to stuff or they're sharing it, and it's honestly a new form over the last couple of years of of trying to figure out how to best utilize it right. and mm -hmm. and not to like abuse it or overwhelm your people who are following, but. But right, it is a marketing um, objective, and I yep. think it's a really good resource. Well, how do you get beyond, because I know a lot of people are really anti-social media. And I think what's happened in the last year or so, people are coming around to seeing the real powers of it in a marketing sense or otherwise. Mm -hmm. and, and even businesses who would otherwise say, oh, no, this is a social thing. Um, I'm not going to be able to, you know, put my business on here and be respectable. Like, what do you think has been that change? Like, why has that? Is it just because so many people have joined on that they've decided? Well, I guess it has to be legitimate. Or yeah, I think um, I, I think that there is that fear, and I think it might have to do somewhat, like generationally speaking. Um, and the, if you look at those who are coming into like these said social media like management roles, they are typically younger folks in, right. involved in, in the industry. Um, trying to connect, I think, different communities together through this medium. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think if you look at it in terms of being a positive like relationship building, um, and you know, just I mean, not 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 overwhelming people with it, but um, just trying to trying to connect the community members with each other. And I think that you know, there's a certain generational thing. Cayenne and I talk about it a lot. There is a generational thing to it, is that all of the social media sites, whether it's you know Facebook or tweeting or anything else, it tends to overwhelm people during the day. Mm -hmm that you get so much information yes. coming at you at a certain time, you have to just put that device away. Right. Yeah. But you can't ignore right. that type of you communicating, yeah. no, whether true. it's through business or you know, what you're trying to do with SCAT TV, which is to make it more accessible and to receive input yes. back. Yes. One of the things that, that I'm going to give you a little pump here, because one of the things that has never been done down here before is 
you started off with um, pitching the idea to Wendy about a producers group, mm -hmm. a potluck producers yeah. group. Bring the producers together in one forum, very relaxed, let them talk about what they need mm -hmm. from the station. Yeah. And I think it was a great idea. Well, and I think with, with community outreach in general, it's always, it, it's always an evolving community needs assessment. So it's not like, you know, you, you've accomplished this one thing and then you just stick to it. I mean, it's good to constantly engage and, and just check in like, hey, how was the success of this? Or like, how can I improve this? And taking kind of constructive criticism or just how yeah. can we constantly improve that, so. And I know it's, all, one more thing, I know it's old fashioned, but there's nothing in this world that will ever replace face-to-face -face right. conversations. No, it's true. Right. Even as great as the social media sets are. But I'm curious about something you said gave me another idea for a question, but you know, you're talking about community access, or excuse me, community outreach being an evolving thing. Did you notice anything different with your community outreach in Albuquerque and say the needs and requirements that you're facing now? I mean, as people, you know, we East Coasters tend to kind of think of ourselves in a certain light. And I'm, I'm just curious, I mean, were there different trends that in, you know, Albuquerque you saw come up or, or not? I'm sorry. I, I gave her a little cheat sheet. Quite, we, we kind of pass this off. This is a I don't know how question. to respond. No. Um, we're, well, mo we're more rabid than coyotes. You know, a little bit. I, things were, <laughs> we're more direct. I mean, yes. Yes, okay. and, and I think that there's something to be said about, like what you said, the face-to-face -face communication. And I actually, I mean, I know I'm part of the younger generation, but I prefer face-to-face -face communication and going and, you know, having, having a meeting and talking to people yeah. and just getting introdu introduced with each other. Um, but, you know, the, the culture out in Albuquerque was, was, was slightly different. And also, um, the, the lack of access to certain communication was different as well, um, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. with, with like access to internet being an issue, and there's just yeah. like certain things that you have to I consider. Didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's um, interesting. So like sending out more snail mail stuff was more effective sometimes than sending out like an electronic newsletter. So trying to figure out like who who is your audience, who yeah. are the people right. that you're serving, um, and just thinking about the and just being mindful of that. But uh, again, that's just okay. something that you just keep on figuring out. Always evolving. Yes. Speaking of evolving. Yes. Scat TV turns 30 Yay. this month, which is very, very exciting. Um, everyone down here is, well, it's a remarkable milestone, I will say that. And um, one of the things we wanted to talk about here, because Erica obviously is on the pulse of what's going on at Scat and all the changes, is go over some of the, um, the updates that you're going to be seeing. Um, the celebration is, I mean, we'll talk about that a little later. It's March 28th, and there's going to be a flyer that's going to be going out for people that want to attend that. Um, but one of the biggest things We're is that... We're not using social media for that? A flyer. <laughs> <laughs> well, in addition, in to addition to social media, in addition to there will be flyers. Um, we have a new website. Yes, and we Scat TV. Scat TV. Yep. Website. Scat TV Somerville org. Scat TV Somerville org. That will be on our blog, um, so you can get that as well as what's the Facebook um, group? Do you have the name? It of It should be just. Um, it's it's Facebook dot com backslash Scat TV. Scat TV. So yes. you can go online and find that. Do we tweet? We do, yes, and that is also going to be twitter.com backslash scat TV. Okay, so we can find all that Erica out. Erica knows how to do all this stuff. <laughs> it's I very don't. exciting. Yeah, that's okay. That's yeah, okay. You don't have to tweet. Not everybody tweets. Actually, I'm going to tweet think, right now. I'm going to tweet. I tweet a lot. us tweeting. I, I tweet, think yeah. Mostly twits tweet. Oh, <laughs> now, Joe. Thank let's you. Let's be nice. Ba -doom, uh, so you. let's talk about the new website, the yes. official launch. We haven't really done the official launch. It's kind of the soft launch, if you will. Yes. Um, and maybe we can pull that up. We have technology. Let's tonight. do it. Let's check uh, out. We can check out. Do you want me to do that for you, Erica? <laughs> there you go. There we go. All right. So this kind of looks. This is this is the new and improved website. We've got um, some sassy little images up at the top there. Um, a lot of buttons. Boston Free Radio, which is a wonderful. Situation. Where could we find? So, if someone comes in here, um, the streaming is one of the big things here. Yes. So, you yep. click on the watch now, and before um, whatever show was actually on live, you could watch. Now, yes. Full disclosure: Joe and I are pre-recording this, even though it's just right. a couple hours in advance of our right. seven o'clock show. So, you will not be able to see us right now. However, other shows you'll be able to stream live. So, that's mm -hmm. right. why is that advantageous? That's just kind of people can. Is that anyone from anywhere? 
anywhere can, in the world outside of SCAP because yes. that's always been a little bit of a limitation right. for our show is that people have to watch it on our blog which we like but yet after the fact they can only watch us live on Tuesday nights correct then they have to wait until Cayenne does her magic yeah and upload it to the other media sites okay. so now you can watch us live if you're sitting on you, the 89 bus coming down you Broadway. You could if you wanted to. Right. Fit it yes. on your little handheld device. So that's you a absolutely pretty could. high tech thing. Then what else do we have on here? We've got um, uh, crew calls for members. That's a kind of interesting ad addition um, where if there are members of SCAT TV and you need someone for recording, um, things of that nature, crew calls are um, now it's kind of almost like a, a chat. Not a chat room, but a chat board. Almost like a, you know, hey, if you need something, put it on here. And yep. people in the in the SCAT TV community get instantly connected, yeah. um, mm -hmm. which I think is a really wonderful Can we feature. put something up there that Lynch is looking for a new co-host for <laughs> Greatest Summerville? <laughs> That's not nice. Uh, really I foster think he's got positive of, communication. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Eric. As the moderator, Eric is not allowed that. Editing this, editing I don't know, this because show. I'm trying to go through the resumes yeah. for all the people okay. applying. So. Okay. And live so, streaming on, what live streaming is great because, I mean, something that I just wanted to emphasize real quick is, um, is is the role of places like SCAT TV in, in becoming more of a community media center. So, and yeah. across the country, a public access center is more of like a network cluster. So you're yeah. not just doing a program and it's going out cable cast. Now it's, you know, becoming a media education hub. So it's people becoming a place for um, internships yeah. and live streaming and trying to just really broaden the reach. So Was people can come in here, sorry to interrupt, people can come in here and really, this is not just you get information, but you can interact yes. with people that are also in the SCAT community, mm -hmm. and that's what you're really wanting mm -hmm. for Absolutely. outreach. And, Absolutely. and that goes to, you know, there are a number of different folks who handle a number of different programs here at SCAT TV. Gordon Nelson handles the youth outreach, mm -hmm. and that is something that, you know, the, the youth of this city or of surrounding cities and yeah. towns, well, you know, would be extremely interested in getting into, um, whether it's film or new technology or other types of technology. Gordon is a brilliant instructor. Indeed he is. Yeah. Yep. One thing actually, oh, there we are. Look at us. There you are. We're there on the are. show. You guys can read up on that. How about we go one you more feature? You have the feature. same outfit on. What are you talking about? <laughs> I upgraded. Um, go, if we can go to the, um, what was it? The, not the not the crew call, but um, where people can sign up for um, for classes mm -hmm. because now we have the ability for PayPal, and so you know you can look to see as on the left you can see all the, the classes that are available, and then I think if you scan down, I haven't had too much time to play around with this, or if you click on one of these, so it does allow you to um, pay you know, for the class. Yeah, exactly. Yep, so right yep. here, you would click yep. on that, and yep. you can you can pay for PayPal and get that signed up, and so then. You know, you get all that in, you pay your money. If you want to um, go up to the calendar tab, you go to the uh, calendar. I believe that's up above. I just saw it. And uh, it allows for you to look at the upcoming calendar events, like what's on. Oh, there it is, events calendar. Yeah. Right there. And so you can kind of see what classes are you know, on well, right now we only have that the will be updated and including yeah. all of our. Classes. It will include the classes. Just a okay. disclaimer. Yep. Okay. So again, this is a soft launch, but I, I, we don't want to. You know, you can go there. Uh, we encourage people to go there if yes. they would like to, and, and send comments definitely. And we did keep some of the old stuff that was in there about you know yep. the home page about Scat TV. Yeah. Um, where now we added the art gallery. Mm -hmm. I don't yep. think we ever had that before. Because they always we? have wonderful art in yep, the uh, studio, yeah. which is wonderful, which is really nice, and it's not always seen by people on the outside. So that's that's a great feature. How about the just a quick shout out to the Twitter, Facebook, and and um, the RSS feed up top so people can follow us that way as well. So um, that's great. So it all connects all of these social media you know, outlets in yes. one area, which I yep. think is really helpful. Yep. Okay, so that's Look one thing. Look at that, thing. 338 likes I know, are already. you a friend? I'm a friend. Already. I hope you are a I'm friend. I'm a friend yeah. to a lot of people. Oh my goodness. Um, so that's the website, which is exciting. Um, we also have in the upcoming weeks, not quite yet, is the studio is getting a big facelift. Indeed it is. And we're it getting going new, HD. It's going HD. So, Joe, you're going to have to wear a little bit more makeup. I'm going in on that. We will, 
We I'm going in on that on face HD, yeah. yeah, we all got to go but look better because we're going to be in HD. So everything yeah. in the studio will be Do you know that HD. adds 20 pounds to you? Shut up. <laughs> you better stay at the gym, my friend. Keep no going. more Oreo cookies but, for me. But, but until, until the cable companies um, do the, the HD switch right. for our channel, we will we will not be um, distributed yet HD until they do that, which is in okay. the works. That's good to know. But we are preparing. Disclaimer. We are taking all the necessary steps to be prepared. Which is what, that. you know, a TV production studio should be. Yes. Um, and other, we're getting other equipment, and there's going to be some new curtains and new lighting. Mm -hmm. um, it is looking which, good in there. Which is going to make... Which is going to make the production right. side better. But we're not going to change all that much. Folks won't no. see the hut set change all that much. With the exception of the so. quality yeah. of the broadcast when Hopefully. we're doing stuff live. Yes, um, Maybe you'll be able to see the offenders behind us that mm -hmm. aren't feeding the meters much better. But, this is true. They're always and out And the there. number of tickets on the cars. <laughs> I got a ticket the other day. I, you go. I am you got to start paying them. The city of Somerville, I'm supporting them. I am happy about that. <laughs> um, so a donation. Here's a question. These these changes for SCAT TV, obviously we've got the website, we've got the, uh, the live streaming, we've got the new studio. You know, one of the things that I think is really important um, to, to, to touch on in this, this episode is that the viability, I mean, it's really important for SCAT TV to stay viable, to stay ahead of the curve in terms of technology because, you know, a lot of times, and I hate to say this, but I'm just going to address it, I think sometimes people are like, oh, community access television. Right. right. And that's an unfortunate thing because I do think that there is such a value in this organization and others that provide this voice for the community. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, people need to recognize as far as funding, there's there's many reasons why. I mean, if, if we all had a, a new iPad every time it came out, I mean, I would... I would probably right. have to take out a second mortgage right. because they just keep coming out and coming yeah, out. Yeah, the expense of, <laughs> of this facility alone yeah. in trying to keep up with the technology exactly. that is well, out there. It's a million dollar studio we have in there already. And I mean, right. places like yeah. Animal Planet and other places have utilized our facilities to yeah. for their production. And, this and past, why? Because it's it's very affordable. And, and this past yeah. year, we had a presidential candidate come in right. to yeah. want to use our studio yeah. right. because it does have what they're looking for, mm -hmm. what TV production folks are looking for. Yeah. And also, I mean, it, it's a coupling of, you know, there's this transition of advancing all the technology, but like candidates, and, and as a political forum, it's fantastic, and people can still yeah. come in here and, and get that message across and without censorship. Yeah. Well, what I would, do, I would definitely I encourage people to check out our new website um, that will be on Joe and I's blog, uh, because it really is finding out what is available, because I think there's a lot of you out there that may not know what's available, and it's really pretty incredible for a membership fee or an organizational membership um, if you you know you live outside of Somerville but you have an organization that's centered mm -hmm. here in, in, in Somerville you can you can you can join that way and and to really know what opportunities there are and what equipment there is because it's really pretty phenomenal and one quick thing I know you've got to say something but the 30-year celebration um, is on March 28th yes um, it's it's members. Is it non-members as well? It's yeah, I mean, it, mm -hmm. we, anyone can come. we yeah. welcome people in the community to come, and um, there won't be an official like open house component to where we'd be giving tours, but you can come right. in and mingle and meet some of the the folks who are the faces of SCAT TV, past right. and present, past which I think present. is important. And yep. we're gonna, Kyan and I will be sending out our own invites to all past guests Wonderful. of Greater Somerville mm -hmm. to come on down to the studio, see some of the improvements that we're making and then, you know, just enjoy the evening of talking to the producers, talking mm -hmm. to the show hosts, talking to the staff and here. And we have testimonials, yep. too, about your experience. You can here, come in on SCAT. To, you can come in here, and we're going to have a little setup. People can, you know, yep. happy These birthday guys to SCAT. Are, you guys right. have it all set up in terms of live interviews. Yes, with yep. Mostly... There'll be some I, panel discussions with panel people. Panel discussions. But on, on different topics. Speaking of SCAT, can I have... Just a couple of minutes here, uh, one minute, yes. so I can pump some things for yes. Scott because I did promise. Call for <laughs> entries, Somerville Open Cinema, and you can see that on the front page, the home page you betcha, on Facebook of the new too. redo of SCAT TV. Somerville Open Cinema Short Film and Video Festival, that is on May 2nd. The reason I'm doing it now is because the deadline for the entries are April 5th. There is no entry fee. Mm -hmm. Contact Warden Nelson. I have another one that's coming up real soon, which is Friday night. Oh, yes. This is Excuse me. One. This is for a benefit for the Somerville Museum yeah. and a celebration of the Emerald Isle. 
everybody knows St. Patrick's Day Correct. is this coming and weekend. And it's a fund, I mean, they're trying to raise funds to do some and much I don't, needed And I don't know if anybody's going to be able to see it um, close enough. I'll try to get it close okay. enough. But this is where the fundraiser is going to be held. This is the nave of one of the old churches in Somerville on Bow Street that was converted into a condominium. Yeah, so um, uh, Phil, Vicki and Phil Lamb are um, graciously donating that for the benefit of the Somerville Museum, March 15th, Friday night. Tickets are $50 at the door. Yeah. One more thing, and I told these guys I would promote their Somerville Peace Month. The kickoff, um, this is run by Teen Empowerment in Somerville. Their late night with Teen Empowerment is April 6th, Saturday, at Somerville's historic Davis Square. And we will Thank post all much. these on our Facebook page. Also on Scott TV. we like TV. to promote community events. Yes, there but you know. definitely, um, okay, so you're done with your little promotions. <laughs> yes, I am. We're all, and one more thing to Miss Erica, because I really appreciate you coming on yeah, and telling us a little bit me. about Scott TV, but what is the most enjoyable thing about your job? Like, what is it that kind of gets you up every morning? Um, community building and just learning about each person who's involved here and who's mm -hmm. been involved here for years and years and their roots and it's just it's like a tree you know there's mm -hmm. this I mean SCAT TV is like this rooted place in Somerville and it's it's so cool when people come in here and they stop by and say I used to be involved here and it's just it gives mm -hmm. some really good perspective and you you guys have been involved some of yeah. us have more roots too. than others ah! Aren't you nice? It just keeps coming, the sugar. So um, definitely check out our website. Go to the new Somerville, uh, scat, scatsomerville.org, correct? The new scattvsomerville.org. Oh, oops, sorry, typo, folks. I apologize for that. <laughs> so, we'll have it on our blog. We'll have it correct on our blog. So um, I'd like to thank our very own Erica Jones from thank Scat TV me. for coming on to Greater Somerville tonight to talk to her about her, her important role in this organization. Scat TV reaches a very impressive milestone of 30 years this month with an up, uh, upgraded studio, website, and live streaming capabilities. And Joe and I would personally like to thank and congratulate SCAT TV on this remarkable achievement, as well as to thank this vital organization for helping Somerville business and residents like ourselves to have such a strong voice in our communities for all of these years. So happy birthday, SCAT TV, from all of us here at Greater Somerville. That does it for us tonight, folks. Until next time, thank you to the viewers at home for watching. Stay safe and stay informed. Good night, night everybody. everybody. Good night. Good job.